Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download, install and use our free global preset style guide for Divi's Italian restaurant layout pack. Here are the results we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Alright, so what we need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Scroll down until you get to this part here, which says get it for free today. And let's go ahead and download it. So I'm going to click here on get it for free today, enter my email address, and then I'm going to click on download. Click on download the files. And now we have them downloaded here on the bottom of my screen. The next step now is to navigate to that download folder. So I'm going to click here, show in Finder. Now, if you're on Windows, you can navigate manually to uh, your downloads folder. Okay, so here is the file. I'm going to double click on it to uh, unzip it. And now we have another folder. We also need to go into this folder again. So I'm going to double click. And this is the file that we need. It's, it has an extension of .json. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this over here to my other screen so I can get to work on my site. So what I need to do now is to come over here to my website. I've already installed Divi, as you can see here on the bottom. So we need now to install our template. So I'm going to come over here, click on um, Divi library. Okay, so this is where we need to go to install our template. So I can see we have one here. Let me just get this into the trash because we don't need that anymore. Next, I'm going to click here on import and export. And then you want to click here on import because we need to import the file into our library. Next, we're going to click here where it says import presets. And now it's time to bring that file that we downloaded earlier. So all I need to do now is just drag and drop it here. The other way is you could do it manually by clicking here where it says choose file and then you can navigate to the folder where you have that download. Next, I'm going to click on import DV builder layouts. All right, so our presets are installed. That's great. All right, so now that I've installed this, the next step now is to just create a new page so I can show you how we can, uh, we can start applying these. So I'm going to click here on add new and I'm just going to call this Italian restaurant. Now, this preset guide is very important because we need to use this with the pre-made layout. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to pre-made layout and I'm going to choose the Italian restaurant like that. And here it is. So the reason why it's important to use the presets now is because if we need to add any elements on our pre on our pre-designed layout, it is very easy to do so because all the colors are done for us. I'll show you what I mean. So now I'm going to choose use this layout. Next, I'm going to hit publish. So now that we have our global presets, all I have to do now is to go in and choose any elements from my global preset. So let's start here by adding a button. So I'm going to click here on add new module. I'm going to search for a button like that. And here is where the magic comes in. So if I click here on this drop down. So first of all, take a look here. We have our standard button here that we get with uh, Divi. So what we want to do now is to choose our preset. So if I click on this drop down, we notice that we have these three buttons. OK, so if I choose the first one here, button one, you can see our color here is matching the rest of our website. You can see the color is also used here. So it is part of the color palette. So let's say uh, you're not happy with that one or you want to choose a different style. You can just click on this drop down and choose the second button. So that one is a black one. And we also have another one here, which is just, you know, a link. So you can now decide what you want to use as you're designing your website. So as you can see, you can uh, you can tell we haven't even spent time trying to design this button the way it looks. So in our style guide now, if I come back over here, you can see that we have quite a lot pre-designed already for us. So we have our colors here. This is our color palette. So if we come closer here to the bottom, we, are, we have all our visuals. This is how our images are laid out. We also have headings. So if you want to test and see how these headings work, you come back over here. Now this time, let's add a heading. So I'm going to come over here and click on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. Okay, so in here, I'm just going to add text which says heading, right? Now here's the trick. If you want to use the presets, first of all, you need to highlight it, click on this drop down, give it a heading, and then you want to come over here to the top to the presets and then choose heading one. So now you have your style. If you, uh, if you want to change this from heading one to heading two, you can just select heading two and then click on the drop down. So these are all your presets. 
There we go. Okay, this is our heading two. So that is how you start applying our presets. So you, you did not have to spend time going in, trying to uh, locate the, uh, the, the font and then the size and then the letter spacing. All this is done for us. So if I come back over here again, we have our headings, we have our buttons. We also have other modules like our contact form. So you can see here, these are the different styles of contact forms. We also have sliders. So this is a really powerful um, preset style guide, which you can use quickly with the uh, Italian restaurant layout pack. So you have to use these in combination. So you don't want to use these presets on, say, for example, any type of website. Of course, you can do that, but uh, it's going to it's going to take you a long time to go in and customize those buttons and headings and so on. But if you were to use a pre-made uh, template, then it makes it easier because everything else matches and everything else works well together. So this is how you use the global presets. So you can go ahead and add even more pages, but as you're adding your pages, everything is going to be very consistent. And before I forget, you may also need to go in and add your header and footer as well for the Italian restaurant layout pack. So that gives you the complete package of your design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.